A couple of weeks ago, I asked you guys whether you would like to see the indoor 200m event back at the World Athletics Indoor Championships. Yes, this event used to be a legit medal winning discipline at the World Indoor Championships in the past, but we will talk about the history later. Out of the people who voted, more than 90% said that they would like to see the event back at the World Championships. If you follow track and field, you already know indoor tracks are different to outdoor tracks. Indoor tracks are 200 meters long, while outdoor tracks are 400 meters long. So during indoor meets, the athletes run the same distance with twice as many curves. So instead of a single curve we see in the outdoor 200, we see a couple of curves in the indoor 200 meters. Most indoor track and field venues have banked turns since the tracks are smaller than outdoor tracks. And on outdoor tracks, athletes run on a flat surface. Most indoor tracks have 6 lanes instead of the 8 or 9 lanes, typical of an outdoor track. Whether it's indoors or outdoors, the race requires a greater level of strength and endurance. Indoor 200 meters was a popular event. Well, it still is a popular one. Even though the event was scratched from the World Indoor Championships program, you can still get to see the event being held in numerous track and field meets and championships. Particularly in the US, we see the indoor 200 meter being contested at the NCAA circuit, including the NCAA championships. Over the years, we have witnessed that many sprinters taking part in the event mostly as a warm-up to begin the year. We last saw the indoor 200 meter event at the World Indoor Championships in the year 2004 when the championships were held in Budapest. That time, Bohemian athlete Dominic Demerit won the men's event, while Natalia Safonikawa of Belarus won the women's event. From 1985 to 2004, indoor 200-meter event was part of the World Indoor Championships, and 11 male and female sprinters were crowned as the indoor 200-meter champions during that period. We have seen great 200-meter outdoor athletes like Marita Koch, Merlin Ote, Irina Privalova and Frankie Fredericks taking world titles in the indoor 200 meters as well. The indoor tracks one lap sprint has provided number of thrilling moments in the past, but the event was scratched from the World Indoor Championships program as the event was deemed unfair and too predictable with the tight bends involved in the race, meaning any athletes not drawn in the either of the outside lanes had a minimal or no chance of winning. Okay, this is kinda true, but can we still have the event back? Is there any way we can have the event without being unfair to athletes because of the lane draw? Well, I've seen some people suggesting a time trial, a single athlete competing in the most favorable outside lane and cover the distance as fast as they can. A time trial is technically not a race, but how interesting it will be. Also, we can have multiple time finals as they mostly do in the NCAA circuit in the US. We can have different sectioned races with two or three athletes only competing in outside lanes and based on their times, we will be able to choose our medalists. 2024 World Indoor Championships are only few days away and I'm certainly going to miss the Indoor 200 meter event at these championships. What are your thoughts about the Indoor 1 lap event and do you miss the event in the Global Championships? If you like the video, make sure to subscribe our channel for more track and field content.